the topic uh, which i will discuss in this uh, video lecture is the superconductivity uh, h kemerling ons uh, was the scientist who discovered this phenomena in uh, april 8 1911 what is the basic definition of the superconductivity superconductivity is a phenomena in which Uh, material possesses zero resistance there is no resistance for the current below certain value of the temperature so this is the basic definition of the superconductivity right now the introduction actually at what time the kemerling ons discovered this phenomena in 1911 ons began to study the electrical properties of metals in extremely cold temperature and what he observed he observed that electrical resistivity of metals decreases as the temperature reduce so he observed this uh, this particular point uh, that electrical resistivity decreases when he reduce the temperature so this was uh, important point and on that basis uh, he defined the superconductivity in 1911 what happens when temperature reduce so you keep uh, this uh, material a specimen right and uh, decreases the temperature so what happens that time with the current or electron which are responsible for the current inside the metal so when the temperature is lowered the thermal vibration of the atoms decreases so that the conduction electrons are less scattered into the lattice right when the temperature reaches a few degrees just above the absolute zero the material suddenly loses all its electrical resistance and it is state called superconducting state is reached of the metal and this is 0 kelvin is equal to minus 273.15 degree c so this is the absolute zero at this point what happens resistance electrical resistance becomes zero and this situation this state of the material is known as the superconducting state here i have shown these uh, phenomena with the help of picture or uh, there are two figures this is figure 1 and uh, below is figure 2 this is figure 2 here so on the x axis i have considered here a temperature and at the y axis this is the resistivity electrical resistivity in ohm meter so the there are two states basically one is for the normal conductor and second is for the superconductors yellow color line this yellow color line is for the super uh, sorry no, for the normal conductor and this white line is for the superconductor this one is for the superconductor so you can see the behavior from here when you increasing the temperature right so the at this point this is uh, electrical resistivity or on the other hand if i start from this side from high temperature to the lower side this behavior indicate like this one the resistivity is decreasing for the normal conductor is still uh, there is some value of the electrical resistivity and this is there and for the superconductor you can see here when the temperature is decreasing at this particular point what happens the resistivity abruptly suddenly becomes zero at this particular point right so these uh, two lines are basically behavior of the normal uh, conductor and for the superconductor here in this figure number 2 you can see that 4.2 kelvin is the uh, critical temperature for uh, mercury mercury here is considered here as an example for this this is temperature and this is the resistivity when uh, one decrease the temperature the resistivity decreases and at this point it suddenly becomes zero 
so this point where the resistivity becomes zero is the critical temperature and this one is 4.2 kelvin in case of mercury now there are some example is considered here to tell that uh, for the aluminium the critical temperature is of 1.2 kelvin where resistivity of it becomes zero for the tin it is 3.7 kelvin here resistivity becomes zero mercury is 4.2 kelvin here resistivity becomes zero and similarly for the lead where the resistivity becomes zero that is the 7.2 kelvin temperature so uh, four different materials have different critical temperature at which the resistivity becomes zero and they show the uh, superconductivity nature here uh, first of all we have to define the critical magnetic field and uh, critical temperature these two are important number one is the critical magnetic field how to define it which magnetic field at what time is known as the critical magnetic field which one defined by the HC and second is the critical temperature so the basic definition of the critical magnetic field and the critical temperature TC is defined here but before that uh, the notation HC and TC is clear for the uh, critical magnetic field and the critical temperature and at the second point this is the unit of the critical magnetic field that is the ampere per meter and here unit of the temperature is in terms of Kelvin so how superconductivity states can be vanishes you know you in this from the second picture this picture here here at this point you know that the critical uh, magnetic field uh, sorry the resistivity is equal to zero but beyond that beyond this point when you are increasing the temperature these are uh, there are some uh, normal states but uh, below it all these states are superconducting state so point is how to vanishes the superconducting states right so for that purpose these two points are defined superconductivity will disappear if the temperature of the uh, specimen is raised about its critical temperature right in the last picture you have seen in a graph that one this is the scale of temperature and here you have seen the resistivity which is plotted at a particular point you have seen that the behavior of superconductor and at this point which is known as TC right uh, the resistivity becomes zero and above it you observe the normal state normal state means now the conductor behave as a normal conductor but here this side into this side it behaves like a superconductor so all these states are superconducting state below the critical temperature so first of point uh, first of all this point is uh, clear here superconductivity will disappear if the temperature of the specimen is raised above its critical temperature here this is the critical temperature and you are increasing the temperature so it means you are vanishing the superconducting state second point what it tells second way is to vanish the superconducting state is what if you apply the sufficiently enough magnetic field on the material right you have this material which show the superconducting nature right if you apply here magnetic field that is equal to the critical magnetic field H which you applied here through the uh, external magnet this N S is the external magnet the magnetic field which is produced because of this is H if that is equal to the critical magnetic field 
value of this material then the superconducting state vanishes so there are two points where one define the how one can vanishes the superconducting states and uh, now the next one here critical magnetic field is defined so the critical magnetic field here defined already by the notation hc and unit is ampere per meter right this is the unit of the hc critical magnetic field so the critical value of applied field at which the superconducting state vanishes is known as the critical magnetic field and denoted by this letter hc so here at the main important point is that hc is a function of the temperature right so this is the critical magnetic field i am revising it again that where the superconducting state vanishes that field is known as the uh, critical magnetic field and this field you provide externally now the point about critical temperature the temperature at which the electrical resistivity of a metal drops to zero right the temperature tc is the critical temperature if the resistivity of the material becomes zero so that time temperature is known as the critical temperature when rho is equal to zero it means you are getting the superconducting state so critical temperature is associated with the superconducting state while the critical magnetic field is associated with the vanishing the superconducting states right so you have to make it clear the critical magnetic field and the critical temperature now at critical temperature the critical field is zero the critical magnetic field hc becomes zero at tc it becomes zero when t is equal to tc you observe that rho is equal to zero but on the other hand hc becomes zero you can write in this way or this way so to remember these two things uh, it might be that you get confused between the critical magnetic field and critical temperature so for that purpose i am making this table critical magnetic field case there is a resistivity is not equal to zero means you are getting normal states so when h is equal to hc that time you observe this particular phenomena then rho is not equal to zero but at critical temperature case in critical temperature case what is happening you observe the superconducting state means resistivity becomes zero so these are two things uh, which are important into the superconductivity in uh, next slide we will discuss about the masoner effect and other related uh, terms which are associated with the superconductivity